Hey guys, this is Atomic and welcome to my channel. Ayato has just been released in Genshin Impact and his release opens us to quite a few new teams with different playstyles. Today, we'll explore how these teams perform in Fury and how consistent each of them are in game. If you don't quite understand how Ayato works yet, check out my Ayato overview video from yesterday. It'll bring you up to speed. Before we start the comparison though, let's categorize the six teams I'll be covering today into four categories. The first will be the all-rounder teams involving Xing Ling. Combined with an animal character, those teams can deal lots of consistent pyro damage. The next category will be the multi-target focused taser teams, usually involving two electro units. In my case, I've used Fischl and Beidou. The next category will be freeze teams, where Ayato's job is to maintain a hydro aura on field so off-field crowd DPSs, like Kaya and Rosari in my case, can deal consistent damage. The last team I have for today would be the Ayato Hyper Carry team. Even though in my previous video, I discussed how his skill is not necessarily good, it is still important to include it for comparison reasons. For the specific stats, weapons, and refinements and constellations I use in my calculations, check out the spreadsheet that's linked in the description. Keep in mind these calculations are all assuming the best possible scenarios for each team and not always realistic in game. Now, with all of that out of the way, Let's get into it. Our first team would be Ayaling with Kazuha. The goal of this team is to swirl Pyro with Kazuha, buffing Xianling immensely, then quickly snapshotting these buffs by casting Xianling's burst. Here's the damage chart for this team, and as you can see, Xianling is doing most of the work, meaning setting her up properly is crucial. It plays very similarly to the national team, but to vaporize consistently, multiple enemies are required for Ayato's burst to apply Hydro quickly enough. In single target scenarios, this team is likely going to be worse than National with Kazuha however, as Ayato's Hydro application as mentioned above is not fast enough due to his standard 3 second internal cooldown. Our next team is very similar to our previous team, but instead of Kazuha, we're using Sucrose. Looking at the damage calculations using Sucrose further emphasizes the need for enemy grouping. As the EM buff Sucrose provides is only useful to Shang Ling if and only if she can vaporize consistently. This team is much harder to pull off in game compared to the previous one due to Sucrose's weaker crowd control ability. However, against multiple bigger targets such as Ruin Guards, Ruin Graders, or larger bosses, this team is just as good as the previous one. Let's move on to the Taser teams. Our first team consists of Ayato, Fischl, Beto, and Jean. Now, Jean is not a character you usually see in a Taser team, but Jean here perfectly fills three roles that this team is missing. It is healing, crowd controlling, and shredding all at once. Jean has the ability to push larger enemies such as Lava Trolls around, maximizing electric charge damage. However, there is a downside to using Jean. Looking at the damage charts, you can clearly see Jean doing way less damage than her teammates. Another problem with this team lies with Official. Oz can only damage one enemy at a time unless multiple enemies are closely packed. Official doesn't gain much damage from fighting more than one enemy, another Achilles heal for this team. An alternative to this team would be using Kazuha instead of Jean. Kazuha buffs his teammates much more and is much less funky to use than Jean, but with Kazuha, you do lose the critical healing component of the team, making it much harder to pull off in game. Players would have to utilize Beidou's counter and Fischl's health restoration when casting burst with her C4 to maintain team health. The difference between Kazuha and Jean is really nothing but damage. Just pick whatever suits your playstyle more. Our next team is of Rosaria and Kaya two off-field cryo DPSs utilizing Ayato's burst to keep enemies frozen. This team is very easy to play as Kaya and Rosaria will just endlessly battery each other and the burst can cover each other's off time to maintain a consistent DPS. However, this team is only usable if heavy crowd control is available, and sometimes even Kazuha's hold E might not achieve the desired crowd control effect. This team also suffers heavily if enemies cannot be frozen, like other freeze teams as Rosaria's stationary burst could lose a lot of damage if enemies move out of it. The last team for today would be a hyper carry Ayato, with Bennett, Yunjin, and Kazuha all built to buff Ayato to the fullest. This team is probably the worst team out of the all six teams, as Ayato's damage is quite pale when compared to other damage dealers like Raiden or Hu Tao. 
reliance on a single element for damage also has its downsides, as any hydroimmune enemies will render this team unusable. Ayato's off time on his E is quite short, however, making this team a well-oiled machine that is very easy to rotate through and play. Looking at these theoretical damage charts, we can safely say that Ayato really excels in multiple target scenarios, but tend to fall behind of other meta teams when put in single target scenarios. His Hydro Element makes him one of the most flexible units to exist, enabling many different reactions in all kinds of teams with main carries of all different kinds of elements. Overall, a very strong character and a very nice addition to any player that wishes to build a strong team. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. Also, comment what videos you guys would like to see next. This is Atomic, and I'll see you the next time.